Comic Sans has grown to become one of the most hated fonts in the world right now. Since the font was created in 1995, the designer who designed the font has only used it once since he created it. You see, Comic Sans was part of one of Microsoft's biggest failure, known as Microsoft Bob. Microsoft Bob was created to make Windows have this friendly and comic user interface, but it turned out to be one of the most complicated things ever. In this video, we are going to look at the history of Comic Sans, how it became the most hated font in the world, and how other font designers have tried to recreate this typeface to make it look more professional and acceptable to the general public. Comics and Emmett is a sans serif typeface designed by Vincent Connery and released in 1994 by Microsoft Corporation. You see, Comics and Emmett wasn't designed to be a free for commercial use font by Microsoft to the general public, but it was actually designed to be one of Microsoft's biggest failure, known as Microsoft Bob. We're going to talk about Microsoft Bob later in today's video. So, Microsoft Bob actually has this general idea of making Microsoft Windows look like a house. Vincent Connery began working on Comics Sans in the year 1994 after he has successfully created other fonts for various applications. At this time, Microsoft Bob was just being created and the program was using fonts like Time Disney Romance. And you know, Time New Romance is this font that has this very, very, very official look. Time New Romance is often used in official letters and stuff like that. So Vincent Bob, Vincent Bob, rather, Vincent Connery actually thought of um, creating this font that actually had this user-friendly interface and had this playful look to it. So that's why he actually opted for the idea of creating the comic. San to make the Bob interface more appealing to younger audience, he decided to create a new type with only a mouse and a cursor. So what Vincent Connery did was actually head over to his computer and created this font with only a mouse and a cursor without even using what professional font designers in our time to this use. So professional font designers actually create font from scratch using stuff like rulers and pencils and pen, I don't know because I'm not a phone designer obviously. So what he did was actually head over to his computer and created comics and MS using a mouse and a cursor, that's all. However, before he could finish designing the font, Microsoft Bob was already launched and it was too late for the font to be included in the Bob program. See what I've got in here. I guess this is the schoolie oh, This is a thank you note. This is my mailing list. Be <laughs> careful with that running. Financial stuff. This is our checkbook. Insurance policy, bank account. Be careful of the cat. Don't do that. Ah! Repairmen who actually show up. We have school records. Yeah, baseball scores. Pizza places that deliver. It may be chaos, yeah. but it's organized. The Microsoft Bob is a Microsoft software product intended to provide a more user-friendly interface for Windows 3.1x and Windows 95 users. The program was released on March 11, 1995 and because of the public backlash, it was discontinued in early 1996. So when Microsoft Bob was actually launched, the public didn't like this idea of what Microsoft Bob was. And I specifically don't know who created this or who had the idea of turning Microsoft Windows into a house which was pretty disastrous i would say so the program was discontinued and actually when vincent Connery was designing this font it designed it for microsoft bob so when the microsoft bob initiative was discontinued what will happen to the font we'll later learn about this in the video microsoft bob presented screens showing a house with rooms that would users could go to and click on familiar objects corresponding to computer applications. For example, if you head over to the work clock in the room and click on it, you see what the time says. And if you click on the icon of a pen and a paper, the bulb will open up the Microsoft Word program. If you don't see understand, I don't understand how to explain to you because I basically do not understand who did this. You see, there was a cartoon dog named Rover which provided user with guidance using speech balloons. And these speech balloons is basically what you see in comic book. So the speech balloons, you see them in comic book where you draw the circle and the shape stuff to represent what the character is saying. However, Microsoft Bob was criticized by general public and the media and did not generally gain wide acceptance with these users and was later discontinued. After Microsoft Bob was discontinued, comics and MS couldn't be included in the Microsoft Bob application, but it was later introduced into Windows. It was unreleased until the programmers of Microsoft 3D Movie Maker who also used speech bubbles adopted it and started using the font 
however speech bubbles was discontinued and later replaced with sound like what you actually hear in your google assistant today but this font comics and ms was still on the windows system the windows system still obtained or kept this comics and ms font and it was still in subsequent version of microsoft windows in the summer of 2010 nba superstar Limroy dreams since lebron entered back into this ball takes it strong left the cleveland cavaliers in the free agency the owner at that time dan gilbert reacted to this by posting a letter to the cavalier fans and the letter was highly criticized for its use of comic sans. In July 2018, a statue of former Chilean president Pedro Seda was inaugurated in Santiago. The plaque of the monument was written in comic sans, which drew negative attention on social media. So all these things, despite all these negative views on the comic sans front, writers have claimed that the typing their books or articles in comic sans MS often reduces mental tension and writer's block. The font is frequently used in school settings for an aid for people with dyslexia. Also, also, a research conducted by Princeton University revealed that presenting students with a font that had an ugly appearance like Comic Sans, they constantly retained more information with that type of font. In the 90s, an Australian graphic designer known as Craig Brozinski oh aimed to update the Comic Sans to be more suitable to the modern generation and more widely acceptable. When he had the idea to save Comic Sans, he thought it would take him a whole full month to create the fonts but it actually took him three whole years and taking three whole years to create just a replica of the normal comic sans ms font is actually dumb to me because the font was created using only a mouse and a cursor if you want to learn about the most trending font in the world right now click on the video on the screen and if you haven't subscribed please hit that subscribe button catch you in the next one peace out